Today, I'm off on a trip shooting sports action and wildlife on the Sea of Cortez for a week. I'm gonna share what I'm taking alongside my Nikon Z9, how I'm packing it, and how I'm carrying it. Well, all right, everybody, I'm off. While you're watching this, uh, for a week of shooting some really great kiteboarders and kite surfers on the Sea of Cortez, uh, I'm gonna be bringing my Nikon Z9, my 100 to 400, my new 24 to 120, testing the heck out of all that stuff and bringing back reports about how it works and how I think you should consider using your own or where it fits into Nikon's evolution of gear. Uh, in the meantime, I wanna show, share with you what I'm taking, how I'm carrying it, both on the plane and while I'm out in the field uh, in this video. And before we jump into that, I wanna make sure I invite everyone to office hours. Uh, we're having a free office hours, big, group photography meetup, and we're gonna talk a lot about Nikon, but really any gear that you want to discuss. Uh, sign up for Zoom or YouTube Live for a big free meeting, February 1st on a Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you can sign up at hudsonharry.com slash office hours, and please leave us a question. We'll try to get through as many questions as we can in that hour. My good friend Rick, uh, David Archer will have his new Nikon Z9. He's a wildlife photographer extraordinary who loves the big body format, so he'll have lots to say. Woody Darren, it's gonna be a really fun time and I hope to see you there. Um, so let's jump in, let's talk a little bit about what I'm carrying, what I'm taking, how I'm bringing it. Uh, and I'm gonna kinda, you know, I'm carrying my, my Pelican Air rolling case that I love to roll onto a plane, fold up and throw in the overhead, takes the weight off my back. And while I'm out there, I'm gonna be carrying this new bag that I've got. Um, I actually have the smaller version of Naya Evo, it's the medium version of their bag, the uh, Fjord um, 36. And it's really, really cool. Uh, I, I was a little skeptical of a bag that's smaller than the 60C that I've been carrying. I did a video a few weeks ago. If you missed it, I'm gonna link it in this video's description. There'll be links to everything that I'm talking about in this video's description. Uh, if you just click on the title and then show more, you can find a chaptered out table of contents that has links to specific parts of this video you might wanna watch or rewatch, along with links to things like the Pelican Air case and the Naya Evo bags. But I did a whole video on their larger bag that has a expandable dry bag on the top. It expands outwards to uh, 60, uh, liters and it shrinks down to about 44 cubic liters. This one is 36 and you know it, I was thinking it would be a little light duty and small but then they sent me one and I love it particularly with its small removable camera insert. I'm going to talk a little bit about why as soon as I show you what I've got packed inside here to just roll around shooting sports action and generalized stuff while I'm in Mexico. So like the 60C uh, if you watch that video th these are absolutely my favorite brands. Um, it's got really nice, thickly padded, but not quite as big shoulder straps. You know, when you look at the photos, they look small and thin, but they have a really nice, comfortable amount of padding. They're ergonomically designed to put the weight on your hips. Hip belts are removable in all of their packs, but I like having them. You can zip down the back access, and like the 60C, there's a divider that keeps all the gear that's up in the top part of the bag that might be non-camera and stuff separate from your camera insert. And I've got their small camera insert in here. And I tend, while I'm out and about, to treat my Pelican Air case as sort of a, a gear locker. You know, I'll move gear in and out of there into my bag. And I have this one set up to carry my Nikon Z9, whoops, I've got a lens on there. Let me get the lens off of it. Had a 28, 2.8 on there. I'm gonna put my body cap on and drop the Z9 in there. Now I could also, in that same spot, I'm putting just the Z9 body, easily put in my Z7 II with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens on it. Um, I'm gonna put in my Nikon 24 to 120, the lens I really want to spend some time testing. And I've got a little catch piece to keep that. Both of those have straps over the top. And then I'm gonna drop in my 100 to 400 millimeter lens with its foot on it. So you see, it holds a fair amount of gear. If I wanted to switch that 24 to 120 out to go shoot some landscapes, but still have the long lens in case I saw wildlife or sports, I can drop the 14 to 24, 
2.8 right in there and, and carry all that gear. I've got those same sort of pockets that the 60C has where you can kind of see through and put filters, sundry different bits in there if you want. Again, everything's divided from the upper bag by this removable divider. It's pretty darn sweet. So I'll be carrying that. Uh, and, and for the plane, I'm gonna take all that heavy gear out, the 14 to 24, the Z9, mount that 28 2.8 little sweet retro um, prime that I like so much back on there and then it can slide right into this pocket. I'll show you what all is in this Pelican bag in just a second along with a spare body and butt cap there. I'm going to take the 100 to 400 out of here. I have a strap in there that holds that from falling out too. That fits in this position here. In my Pelican case, it also holds the 500 PF or the 70 to 200. So I'll put my computer cord, some headphones, a book, you know, some various little lighter weight sundries here since this will be on my back for the plane ride. Zip that shut. Um, and then you'll notice that the hip belt on this has a little mesh expandable pocket. You can put batteries, filters, power bars, whatever it is that you want to put in there. Then there had, you know, just like the 60C, you pop these two easy to snap buckle snaps and boom, you've got this big main compartment that's separated out from your camera gear by that removable divider. And I've got some sunglasses, a rocket blower, full set of case, magnetic filters. I can put a bunch more things, maybe some shorts and flip flops so I can change when I get to the ground. Uh, in La Paz and I'm not overheated by Oregon clothes. There's a, a key keeper in a zipper pocket here. These bags come with built-in dedicated custom fit rain covers. So there's Naya Evo's rain cover that comes with the bag. Uh, I've got a little mesh pocket that fits either over the top or on the front of the bag to just push a bunch of wet gear maybe you've got or just extra gear you don't want to put inside your bag. You can sort of expand out with that little mesh pocket. So that's your main kind of big clamshell which opens up for really easy access just like the 60C. You don't have the expansion that the 60C has either up with its uh, built-in dry bag or out with its front horseshoe, but you do have this nice big front horseshoe pocket. Very well, Actually, before I show you that, there's this neat little quick accessory pocket here where I keep a headlamp and my QD Luma strap ready to deploy at a moment's notice if I want to sling the camera or see something in the dark. And then you've got this nice big horseshoe clamshell with a big pocket inside. I got some toilet paper in there just in case of a little bit of a beanie hat, some rechargeable batteries for my headlamp. There's a zipper pocket and in there I've got a bunch of spare CF Express B cards for the Z9 or for the Nikon Z7 II. I've got a 20,000 milliamp anchor power delivery 20 watt battery which can power and charge the Nikon Z9's battery six times. Uh, for this one $70 battery, can charge that $220 battery six times and power the camera while it's doing it. So you just connect the cord from that to your camera in the bag while you're not shooting and that battery's topping off. Uh, that's a really nice thing. And I've got my Dell XPS 15 powerhouse notebook computer, which I'll have on the plane with me. That fits right here in this bag that's secured. It's a nice padded waterproof pocket. You can also put a hydration bladder in there. There's a port for the bladder's hose to go out to you and there's a hanger to keep the bladder from falling down and pinching off. It has all the same kind of accessory straps and, and capture points, you know, like uh, side ski carry, diagonal ski carry, snowboard or skateboard carry, ice axe loops, but all pretty subdued and out of the way, not in your face. Just the quality and the way these bags are put together, I love. And this particular form factor, you know, especially with the small camera unit in toward the bottom, it's gonna be perfect for me rolling around on the beach with just the parts I want to shoot, you know, whether it's a landscape scene in the evening or whether it's out shooting kiteboarding action during the day or birds in flight. And yet, you know, I can roll onto the plane with this over my shoulder and it looks like a book bag that just goes under the seat. Rolling on with this, and this is my second item, is gonna be no problem whatsoever. So I think for those that are looking for a smaller bag, 
This is a really nice option. Again, links in this video's description, links on my website. So that's what I'm carrying on my back. What I'm rolling through the airport and onto the plane is my Pelican Air 1535 case that I am so enamored with. You saw this one big pocket I have set up here in the middle. These are all done with tech pack dividers. That's the way I like to set up the Pelican case. You can customize it to your own tastes. Um, I have a one side on either side, I can put a big lens in or divide it up as I have in this case. So in this case, I have my 100 to 400 on this end. I could also put my 500 PF in that slot. I can put my 70 to 200 in there. I have the Z9 along with the uh, 2828 right here in this pocket that fills that nicely. I can put a butt cap and body cap right there. I have some auto audio recording mics right here and charger. I have LumCube panel lights and some GoPro accessories, spare battery for the Z7 II, some hard drives for storing all the data and backing all the data up. Again, I have that 14 to 24 2.8 right here. I have the 24 to 120 down right there. Uh, I have the charger for the Z7-2's batteries right here. I have a 1.4 teleconverter courtesy of Charlie Johnson with a little bit of a microfiber cloth, a magic fiber cloth, separating it from the 2.0 teleconverter. Thanks again to my good friend Charlie Johnson because uh, I'm going to test those with the 100 to 400 while I'm down there and report back. I have some filters and hoods and microphones and headphones the charger for the Z9's battery, which can also be powered by that 20,000 milliamp anchor battery brick. I think if you're a Z9 owner, you should have that anchor 20,000 milliamp battery brick or more than one. And then the Z7 II fits in this little corner pocket. So this is a, a hefty, substantial, rolling, protected case. Rolls right on the plane pop-up handle, folds down to throw in the overhead, lightweight book bag with my laptop and sundries on my back. So while I'm rolling around down on the ground in the, around the Sea of Cortez and La Ventana, I can just use this as my gear locker and trade things in and out at will, slam this shut, it's nice and safe, carry this down, good to go. So while I'm down there, I'm gonna be shooting tons of birds in flight, Tons of really good athletes doing some really fun things in the waves and surf and wind down there. Um, I'll report back about how all this gear works. I'll be working on my full setup guide for the Nikon Z9 so that it'll go through the whole menu system for those of you that have one. Um, and, you know, just be creating some fun content in a beautiful place for the for future approaching the scenes. Again, I hope that you'll consider joining us for office hours, February 1st, Tuesday, 10 a.m. Pacific. Sign up at hudsonherry.com slash office hours. Leave a question there. I want to thank everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, putting comments and questions in the videos, comments section, signing up for office hours, leaving us questions. You guys drive this content. And I appreciate you all so much. So I hope everyone's staying safe, staying creative. We'll see you next week.